Are you considering cutting the cord and upgrading to a wireless guitar system? Well, for one, don't physically cut your cord, and two, you're in luck. The dudes at Cable Free Guitar actually sent me their brand new CF80 wireless guitar system to demo for all of you. So let's check this thing out, but I highly recommend that you stay to the end of the video for a special discount announcement right here on the Axe. Let's go! All right guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Nick. All right, so there's a million wireless guitar systems out there and some of them are just downright dog shit. That's why I'm super excited to demo the CF80 2.4 gigahertz wireless system by Cable Free Guitar. This system comes to you with a price tag of $115 making it one of the less expensive wireless guitar systems out there on the market. So this company reached out to me and asked me to do a no bullshit, honest, unbiased review. And you know, I like to keep you guys from buying crap out there. So I said, absolutely. Now, whether you play through an amp at home or do live gigs or play through an interface with plugins like me, this uh, wireless system could be for you. So when we open up this box, there's one transmitter, one receiver, and a power cable. Now they're pretty much all plastic on the outside except for the uh, male connector that's on this swivel right here. There's an on and off switch on both the transmitter and the receiver and a link button for pairing. There's two small LED lights on the outside of both the transmitter and the receiver. And when it's charging, it shines a yellow, kind of orangish. And when they're linked, it's a nice ice blue. Now the actual male connector piece on here swivels freely, but it stops where you need it, which is awesome because this thing has to fit on an array of different guitars. The CFG website shows how it fits into a Stratocaster pretty good, but for your reference, here's how it looks in an Ibanez Genesis 550 and a Dean ML, which has kind of one of those more forward facing uh, jacks. Looks like the manufacturer added a nice rubber button right here. So if it rests on your guitar, it doesn't scratch the finish, which is a nice touch. Now let's plug these Johnnies in and link them up. So I'm gonna be using an Ibanez Genesis RG550 going through a Scarlet 2i2 interface into Will Putney's Tonality plugins. All right, so we got our transmitter right here and it is on. Let's throw this in. All right, receiver on, and let's throw it into this interface right here. We're on. That was extremely easy to link. I just turned the transmitter on and the receiver, and they linked themselves. No need to put, hit the pairing button or anything. The sound comes through pretty clear. I'm not hearing much lag that I can notice. Granted, I'm really close to the receiver right now, but let's try to see if the sound is any different between the actual wireless system and a hardwired cord. All right, here's the sound with just the CF80 system. And then here's the same riff with a hardwire cord. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I didn't hear too much difference. I maybe heard just a little bit more noise in the wireless system, but honestly, nothing that would discourage me from using this. All right, so the CF80 claims to have a range of about 100 feet from the transmitter to the receiver. So I'm gonna go outside and test this as well as I can. I'm gonna try and get just about 100 feet away from my interface and see if the damn thing can pick it up. All right, so success, it did transmit all the way back to my interface back at home. It's pretty awesome that this wireless system, especially at this price point, can reach that distance and stay connected because also I had to walk out of my house and so there was interference between like the walls and everything. 
And so, yes, the CFG CF80 does maintain this connection over a pretty long distance. Now, not so fast. I did find something that didn't perform so well. So if you take a look over here, you can see that the actual signal was diminished because this is when I was playing at home and this is when I was playing outside. You can see that the waveforms are a little smaller and the signal uh, was a little weaker coming in from outside of the house. And I can tell the overall sound with being at that distance does have a little less bite than it does when the transmitter is right next to the uh, receiver. Now with that said, these bad boys sport eight hours of battery life and have less than four milliseconds of latency. And I don't know about you guys, but I didn't really notice any lag when I was playing, which is a huge plus. Overall, I think this is actually a pretty good wireless system, especially for the money and especially how fast you can get it. The positives of the CF80 system are really the ease of setup, the battery life, and the overall simplicity. If I had to point out some negatives, I'd say the overall construction and the uh, diminish in signal over over great distances. They do feel a little cheap out of the box. I mean, they're 100% plastic, really. And um, also, the system doesn't come with a block. With the, it comes with the charging cable, but no block. Okay, now I'm happy to announce here on the Axe that these Johnnies are now 30% off at the Cable Free Guitar web store. Yep, 30% off, bringing these bad boys down to $79.90 for a pair. That officially makes it one of the most affordable wireless systems you could get on the market. So what are you waiting for? Visit the link right here in the description and test one out for yourself. Now if you have one of these already, let us know in the comments and tell us what you think. Big shout out to Cable Free Guitar for sending me one of these units. I really, really appreciate it and it was so fun reviewing them. With that said, I will see you later guys.